Um, I'm just going to make a, a, a couple of historical, so, just a couple of context co points about the context, just, just very, very quickly. First of all, this committee, we talk a lot of time about trade agreements. That's kind of what we do. But I'd just like to make the point that Australia has got no trade agreement with the European Union, and incidentally, no freedom of movement with the European Union. Nonetheless, Australia, nonetheless the UK is the largest market for wine produced in Australia. And wine produced in Australia and the UK is fully competitive with wine produced in uh, Germany, in France, in Spain, yes. even in Italy, without a trade agreement. So the thing about trade agreements is, and I wish the British government understood this, you don't need a trade agreement in order, in order to be able to trade. The second contextual historical point which I make, which is, which is which is quite interesting, is that, of course, the UK had a trade agreement with Australia. We had a trade agreement with New Zealand, and we turned our backs we, on, that, on those trade agreements. We tore them up when we joined the European Union in 1975. Now, there are, there are many distinguished representatives of, of, of the left here, and that had a consequence. It had a direct consequence on poorer people, and the consequence which it had on poorer people was that, the, was that the UK consumer, including the less well-off people, instead of paying world prices for food, had to pay EU prices for food, or what were then common market prices for food. And those prices are much, much higher. And of course, it's entirely regressive. And, that's, and really, I'm going to leave this with a question. When you look at this agreement, when you look at this agreement, and all the talking about agriculture, which has come from distinguished colleagues, do please bear in mind that the people who suffer from expensive food prices are the less well-off people in society. And it's completely mysterious that, 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 that these distinguished, eloquent and articulate uh, representatives of the left just completely ignore this. Anyway, I wish they wouldn't, and I do hope that those three points I make will be worthy of, of, of the colleagues' consideration.